Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a 2015 Toyota Sienna van. Uh, it's a friend of mine's van. He called me. Uh, it's got about 150,000 miles on it. He's wanting me to change the spark plugs in it, air filter, and I believe I got to put a backup light bulb in it. Um, this is what we're looking at. Uh, Toyota V6 engine and uh, that's basically it we'll get started here in just a second okay first things first we removed the engine cover it's just four little you just pop it up like that you see right here or three of them actually four one two three four there you go you just pull up on it and it'll pop right off Okay, these front three plugs are pretty simple, real easy to get to. Um, what you want to do is just press in on the plug on the tab right there, pull back on the plug, and there you have it. Just unplug each coil and slide everything off. Then the there's one 10 millimeter bolt holding in each coal. Just go ahead and loosen that. Pull up on the coil and then just sit the coil out of the way. And I always just set them in order so I know which one they came out of so I can put them back in the same spot. Now go ahead and do these front three because they're simple and easy to get to. The back three, not so easy. But we'll get to that in just a sec. And anytime I'm putting spark plugs in, I always put a little anti-seize on the plugs before you put them in there. Get them in there nice and tight. And you just stick the coils back down in there.
to snug up the bolts holding the coils in. Plug your coils back up. And you're done with those three. The rear three is a little more difficult. They're located back here underneath this intake. So we're gonna have to remove this intake to get back there to replace those plugs. So uh, you got some vacuum lines here. You're gonna have to remove the air tube. There's some vacuum lines here, remove the throttle body. And then you have two 10 millimeter bolts, one on each end. And then you have four Allen head screws in the center here that you have to remove. So I'm gonna get started on that. slide the air inlet tube out you don't have to remove the whole air box just you can leave the air box in you can leave the air box in and again we have to change the air filter one of the easiest air filters to change you just pop these two clips slide it out and there's your filter this one looks pretty decent but the customer requested that it be replaced So we're replacing it. Just drop it down in there, rubber side up, slide it down in the spot. Lock it down. Okay, you got four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the throttle body on. So we'll go ahead and take those four out and you can just lay the throttle body off to the side.
Okay guys, we got the intake off. Um, there's one bracket on the back side of the intake. It bolts here. It's got a 12, two 12 millimeter bolts, one on the back of the intake, and one that goes down in the valve cover here. You get those two bolts out, and then there's a 12 millimeter bolt here on the back of the intake. And then you unplug the vacuum line for the brake booster, and then the intake will slide right out. So we've got the intake out. I've already got the spark plug wrench down, uh, socket down inside. This one to change this one. Here's the other one. The other two, we'll get these two taken out, changed, and then we'll get everything, get this cleaned up and get everything back together. Okay guys, we're all done. Got everything back together. You hear it running. I cleaned out all the leaves and stuff that were packed in up here. Uh, and that's it. Just put it back together the same way you took it apart. Again, the, there's a bracket back here on the passenger side. There's two 12 millimeter bolts, one in the valve cover, one in the back of the intake. And that thing is a bear to get back on there. Uh, just be patient, take your time, you'll get it. Uh, and then hook all your uh, vacuum lines and PVC hoses and everything, air intake hoses, get them all back on, get them, get them tight. And there you have it. Spark plugs in a 2015 Toyota Sienna van. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, analytics says only 7% of the people watching my videos actually subscribe to my videos. It don't cost you a dime, guys. Just please click the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Um, check out the website, rossrodshop.com. I got t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, stickers. Uh, just check it out. Uh, there's a link in the description below. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.